Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of the Loquacious One. I am the Loquacious One, the one hit quitter of affordable hauls. If you're familiar with my channel or if this is the first time you're viewing me, I do trends at affordable price point so that you can save your coins and put them in more prosperous endeavors. Okay, I like to welcome you all. Happy holidays to you. And I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you're inspired by it. So much so that you would click that subscribe button and join my family. And by all means, if you're on social media, please share with someone who's interested in the same contents that my uh, platform provides. Okay, today's haul is going to be on uh, Lennon's purchase for the Christmas season. And again, I, I always tell you, get a budget, stick with the budget, find out what your theme is, um, also shop. Uh, sales take advantage of coupons as well as affordable discount venues such as Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Ross, those types of stores. Okay, so we're going to be more dedicated to saving more money. Okay, and let's get started. This is on the linens that I purchased for the holiday season, and they're quite affordable. Okay. So, it also includes uh, rugs that I purchased. My rugs were purchased, uh, and those and by rugs I mean mats, I should say doormats and kitchen rugs were purchased from Dollar General. I purchased all of them. Um, they are not the most durable, but again, you're only going to use it for the season. So, for the price that they were, and they were all $5 a piece, they suit me just fine. So I'm going to show you those, those outside of my door so you can see how they look. So I'm going to put you on pause and show you the outdoor um, doormats and the kit, the rugs I'm going to use for my kitchen. And everything is themed on the little red truck mostly. And some things are on the little um, hot cocoa cups. Alrighty. And these are my mats and rugs. Excuse my feet. This is six dollars. This is five dollars. And this is five dollars. This is have yourself a merry little Christmas. This says Merry Christmas. And this says, says the blind lab. And it's six dollars. Okay, I couldn't talk too loud because I was outside in my hallway. I live in the condo, so I didn't want to disturb stir the neighbors because this is late at night. It's eleven something at night. So I just Basically, want to show you what the pattern designs were. They all came from Dollar General. They were five to six dollars a piece, quite affordable. They are decent quality, not the most durable. Um, I don't think they'll survive the season. With uh, I live in a area that accumulates a lot of snow, so of course it will not. Um, survive that. I do have a heavier one that I will be using on a daily basis and I plan on setting those out only when I have company or an event, you know, mainly for sure, for sure, because after the season they'll probably be shot. But that's all right. Okay, um, they're very affordable, five and six bucks a piece. You can't beat it. Can't ask for more. So let me show you some of the items I purchased as far as kitchen linen. I have one set that is purchased from the Dollar Tree. The majority of the stuff is purchased from uh, Dollar General. Like I said, Dollar General, kudos, thumbs up to Dollar General. They did the darn thing. When it came to the little red truck, they fulfilled uh, a great price point so that the everyday person can um, obtain that without having spending a whole lot of money. So you got to get your little red truck fixed on without breaking the bank. So I love that. So I'm going to show you some things that I purchased. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you are these placemats, and it's quite lovely. These are um, vinyl, 
and they're by holiday style. They're one dollar. They're twelve by seventeen inches, and it has a snow. I love this. The snow um, filled evergreen trees against the night sky. They have a little red truck. I like the details. The lights are on. It has the um, Christmas tree farm si signs established 1924. It has gifts, a sled with the wreath. I think this is quite, quite lovely. It has the cardinal, my favorite bird, and um, a set of skis. It is so detailed. I purchased two of these. They were a dollar piece. I do not plan to use them, however, as placemats. I intend to do a DIY project with these. Okay, I tend to use, I'm, I'm going to use them more so as a wall decor item. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to show you, this was a set. I did not get it last year, but it was from the Dollar General. This is the set they had from last year. And let me just show you how they uh, progress. But all I was able to find last year was the pot holder and two of the towels. Okay, so I would just be using this like in my um, just general coffee bar area or what have you. Yeah. Now, this is a really, really, really nice set. I thought they did the darn thing. And this came with the oven mitt. And it says, cut your own Christmas tree farm, pine, fir, spruce, and cedar. Again, a very nice design with the little red truck and it even has the plaid uh, trim it also came with the pot holder and the, I also purchased three of these um, kitchen towels this went very fast this is the 2018 edition so I was able to get the three towels um, pot holder and a oven mitt I'm going to try to find another um, of admit, but like I said, people jumped on this. They were on it. And also with this set, it didn't, they had um, the Cut Your Own uh, Farm Fresh Tree, Pine Spruce Fir Cedar, now open. Fun for the whole family. Christmas trees, established 1935. I thought this was awesome against a wood like plank background. I purchased four of these because I will use them at the kitchen table on an everyday basis. And I thought this was a nice, nice set for the money. They one upped it. Now, even though this was from last year, this set does kind of coordinate with this set. Okay, just showing you how Dollar General has become has been conscientious of the consumer and trends. Okay, next. Okay, I'm going to show you what I purchased from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree, I thought they had a little red truck. Evidently, they didn't. Excuse my shaking. Um, but I did see this hot cocoa, okay, and it came, um, uh, as far as what was offered, they also had a Santa's plate, which was like this, it's the Santa cookies plate, right here, it's the cookies for Santa, and this also has a mug, which I have, I'm just showing you this, because I have it out, they also had these little plastic little buckets that I'm going to fill with cookies for guests as well as they had this wooden sign that says have a cup of cheer with a little gingerbread man floating with the candy canes and the peppermints all around which I thought was quite, kind of you know very very um, nice and they even had uh, things such as these um, little hot uh, cocoa cups or whatever you want to call them, gift box sets. They had also tissue paper. I got um, 
treat bags. I mean, they just did the darn thing. They had a lot of stuff. They had gift boxes, um, tissue paper, loot bags, if you want to call them, or treat bags, signs, cups, saucers. And then they had this oven mitt. And it's quite thick. I would say it's a really decent quality for the money. So I did get two of those because they they had enough of their linens pretty much. Um, then I got three. Did I get three? Yeah, I did only get three. And I got three of the towels. Okay. And I got uh, a set, which it comes two in a set of pot holders. Okay, so that is that for that. Okay, and I'm going to progress. Let me put this stuff down. I'm sorry for moving so much. I'm at a one, a little small table. Um, <clears throat> excuse my voice. And of course, uh, I showed you this before. I just want to show you the stuff that I got. So this is a collective haul and not just a one-time hit haul. I got this Balsam and Fur Trading Company Table Runner. It's 14 inches by 72 inches. And I got this for TJ Maxx for $9.99. This is very, very long. Okay, $9.99, excellent buy. Because I love the Buffalo Plaid or the Lumberjack Plaid, whatever you want to call it. I think it's an awesome deal. I also was able to get a set of three by Aspen and Pine of kitchen towels and it was $4.99 so that's a great deal one of them however is just red waffle weave but I'm telling you this is a awesome deal and this would be a great gift set to give someone also if you know they like Arrington Linens and also by Aspen and Pine I got this two piece gourmet set it's an oven mitt and a pot holder awesome quality only $4.99. Okay. And um, then I went into getting um, extra. I just love linen, kitchen linens. I really do. It's something about good linens that, you know, whew, I don't know. But I got this. Uh, it's a set of two kitchen towels. It's 100% cotton, 16 by 26 inches. And it's two of them. This one says have a cup of cheer. Which goes with my Dollar Tree set pretty much. And then this red and green plaid. Which is a reoccurring thing with me. If you've been noticing. And this was from Dee Dee's Discount. And it was $3.99. <coughs> Excuse me. And also from Dee Dee's Discount. I got this set of two kitchen towels. Same dimensions. 16 by 26 inches. This one says let it snow. And Dollar Tree has a sign that's in red that says let it snow also. Just let you know in case you got this or want to get it. And it was $3.99 also. Um, another thing that I found, this was from Dollar General. It's by Holiday Style. It was $4. It is embroidered kitchen tiles, a set of two. I like it because it had this really nice white quality. A uh, towel with a silver embroidered snowflake and the other one is just a gray waffle weave. But I plan to use this as part of my um, guest bathroom display. So I thought that would be nice. And uh, what else? Oh, let me show you this. Another thing I use with this buffalo plaid that I got. If you give it as, as a gift or you doing um, home uh, DIYs. I found this uh, Buffalo plaid ribbon from Dollar General and it was two dollars. So again you can tie, create different looks, different tablescapes for very little money. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money I'm telling you. Okay. And for my little red truck I can't, let me see if I see it, but they have this little red truck, ribbon, okay, and it's burlap, it was $2, and I got this from Dollar General, 
Okay, and I'm moving around, just trying to move around, folks. <clears throat> Another inexpensive um, linen that I got that I want to show you. And I hauled these before. This is red and green plaid from Dollar Tree. If you want a fabric, I'm showing you this as an alternative. Um, Dollar Tree has had this before. It's not new. But you know what? It's not bad either. And if you want to just change up your tablescape, this is what I do. I uh, buy inexpensive uh, fabric, uh, table uh, mats or placemats. And they are decent, very decent quality. And these were a dollar piece. And I also purchased from uh, Dollar Tree this wire edge ribbon. It's nine feet long. And it's in the same plaid. You can do a little, a lot of, excuse me, you can do a lot of DIYs with this combination. I have the red chargers that I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, as well as some other stuff that I'm going to put together a tablescape for you. Alrighty. And let me put this over there because this is beginning to pile up. So I got to move it around a little bit. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to show you. I can put that there. Uh, I went to Big Lots. Okay. And at Big Lots, I found these were placemats. These were sold separately. They were $2.50. And it's called the Winter Wonderland Lane. They have a Winter Wang. A, a, they have a Winter Wonder Lane. Uh, every year they put out collections. Big Lot does. And this is Holiday Cozy. That's what it's called. The Holiday Cozy Collection. It was two dollars and fifty cent. And it is a very very good quality because you know Big, Big Lot does have a better quality. Then say someplace like the dollar store. But look at it. The red truck with three trees, a reef, and it says farm fresh, pick your own. And it's pretty much similar to what Dollar General General was uh, so much trying to do. Okay. Um, they didn't have uh, the kitchen linens to go with this as I seen it. But I am going to use this for a DIY project. And not for a table mat. I like the quality. These would make good pillows if you're into that. Uh, because the pillows for the little red trucks were kind of high. I picked up one and I seen one at Ross. And I really did like it. It was more like a bolster style and it was $12.99. But when I thought about it, I bought this. If I stuff it with polyfill. And you can even do a plaid backing or you can use both of them but um, I think I could do something I like better and I think a better quality than what I seen that was offered out there so that's my take on that the next thing I got from Big Lots no 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 I take it back this is Dollar General it was from um, the holiday style tapestry placemat it's a two count and it was four dollars and it has this gold lurex thread gold shot lurex thread shot through the gold and the red and the trees and it's very sparkly the tree the truck is very unique i like actually the print on this dollar general you did it what can i say this is very very nice and again this would be very nice to do a diy project with if you want to make a pillow you have two and you can make two pillows you don't have to sew them back to back which I think is kind of redundant in nature when you can make four you know make two pillows out of this and just get a backing which you can get kind of inexpensive or even get a less expensive um, placemat from another store or what have you however you do it Maybe you have something left over, but I think these are nice placemats to use. And this I particularly love. 
because I know this will be my uh, Christmas pillows. Yeah. Yes. Okay, folks. So that is it. I have no more. I hope this um, gave you some inspiration or ideals how you can affordably purchase um, kitchen linens. Uh, they are quite expensive when you get into the specialty um, type of items. But just to show you also while I'm thinking of it, Dollar General had these bakery bags that went with this also. So, like I said, this would be a good gift to give to somebody, you know. And uh, Dollar Tree, while they didn't have a little red truck, they did have these little red truck loot bags, or treat bags as you call them. Okay. Alrighty. That's it. That's all. For my heart, be inspired, be blessed, be safe, be good, enjoy the holidays, understand even if you can't buy anything, folks, I'm going to tell you, I've seen some very creative crafting people, they make stuff with what they already have, they went to the Goodwill store, Goodwill, you get some, I, you know, I had one Christmas when I was into snowman, found a lot of good stuff at a thrift store like Goodwill, Savers, um, Salvation Army, because people generally donate that because they're moving or whatever, and they just have bags of random uh, decorations that you could possibly use and craft with, you know. So take what you have, uh, be it the candle, candle holders, old vases, you can spray paint, put glitter, embellish. Um, you can get a plain bowl. And go to Dollar Tree and get some uh, ornaments and put those in the bowl. Use ribbons, uh, Christmas ribbons from the Dollar Tree. They have beautiful ribbons at Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Family Dollar. And embellish, okay? Make a pillow out of a, a placemat. You don't have to go in debt for Christmas. Guarantee you. Go outside, get some um, pine cones if they're available in your area, you know. Make some poopery, simmer poopery on the store, on the stove. Uh, cut up an orange, some lemons, and throw some cinnamon and nutmeg. And you could create an atmosphere and environment. And Glade Air Freshener, very affordable. It's only a dollar a can or for the gel freshener. The other products do go up. But they have wax melts this time of year and various by various um, manufacturers. And Christmassy scent, be your berries, nuts, apples, cinnamon, all that. Okay, you can create Christmas on a budget. Dollar Tree has great natural looking uh, florals that you can use. You don't have to break the bank, you know. And I'm going to do a DIY of a mannequin Christmas tree. It's uh, my little version. I've seen someone... The lady created a really beautiful one. I got to look at it. I saved it, but I didn't look at it yet. And I want to look at it to see what she did. But I have already done mine, but I'll show you. It's a miniature version. Only because of space, I couldn't create a big one. And I do have a tree, so I will be uh, showing that next. It should be, I would think, the next video. Yeah. Alright folks, thank you for watching this video. It wasn't too long. Don't forget, click that subscribe button, thumbs up this video, share it on social media. If you have any questions, cares, comments, or concerns, or videos or links you want me to see, put it all in the box below. Till next time, happy holidays.